guys, it's Brenda with Native Root Salsa Company. I thought I'd pop in here really quickly. I was editing a video that I uh, filmed this past Monday and I really cut half of my head off so I thought I'd just say good morning and welcome to the channel. Uh, if you haven't been here before, give us a like if you like the content and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. And welcome back if you've been here before. We have a new product coming out. It's going to be an adobo verde, so it's a seasoning sauce. And we're going to show you how you can use that in this upcoming video. But I did want to say good morning and show you my smiling face. So let's get into the video. You're going to be able to get this at the markets real real soon uh, I'm gonna these fish were cleaned they're whole they're wild caught uh, American red snapper whole um, they were cleaned I had them descaled by the, the fishmonger um, I'm gonna put some scores in them we're gonna season it up with the adobo verde and I'm gonna let it sit uh, for probably about an hour before we throw them on the grill and we'll film uh, grilling the fish as well this is a highly seasoned uh, sauce or paste. Um, it's serranos, roasted garlic, some parsley, some cilantro, and olive oil. There's no acid in it, so we're gonna add the Meyer lemon. We're gonna stuff, uh, reinforce those same flavors. We're gonna stuff the fish with uh, some parsley and my poor decrepit cilantro here. I can't believe I don't have any cilantro, but we found a little bit. And some of the Meyer lemon, we're gonna add the acid, some green onions, and throw it on the grill. And we'll be back shortly. Oh, and as always, gotta have a little kitchen inspiration. Uh, Chateau, Chateau Saint Michel, easy for me to say, and I haven't even had any yet. Um, Washington State Sauvignon Blanc, delicious. We've been drinking this for 30 some odd years. There's more than one. If you'll go grab a glass, I'll get you some. Himself is looking at me. Cheers. Let's open up these fish. I'm probably cutting off half of my head in this video, but it's more important for you to see what we're doing. Haven't replaced the broken stove yet, if you haven't seen that little Instagram post. Broke the glass on my, my stove, so. Hoping to replace it with a gas grill soon. Or a gas, gas stove. I've been wanting one forever. So, clean hands. Got my nice uh, wooden board covered here. It's kind of slippery, I don't want to dump it on the ground. Alright. I'm going to use the sink as a trash can. Um, nice clear eyes, fresh fish. They have been uh, descaled, which was great because I didn't really want to do it. I have the little tool to do it with, but it's a mess. So I'm going to go in and score these on both sides. I'm going to lightly salt and pepper them. And then we're going to slather some of this adobo verde on, on the inside as well as the outside, stuff them, and I'm going to set them aside in a pan covered for about an hour. So let's get, let's get started. I'm going to do this one a little bit different. I've seen people score fish a couple of different ways. I'm going to checkerboard this guy or crosshatch or whatever you want to call it and see, see how that turns out. Then I'll know for next time how I want to do it. I just want to make sure this seasoning gets into this fish.
Probably should be wearing a glove. It's a little slippery, but you know. third cut over here. Alright. Let me grab some salt and pepper. So again, the adobo verde is highly seasoned and it does have the olive oil. I do want a little additional salt. Oh. A little bit on the inside. Hopefully you're getting this. Pretty decent view of this. stays covered with oil this will last for about probably four months in your refrigerator as long as you keep it topped with a little oil uh, so I'm going to put some down here inside kind of squish it around and then we're going to get some down in these Slits. Work it down in there. go heavy on this. I want, I want to taste this delicious sauce and it is delicious. It's got a little spice. It's got a few serranos uh, in it and then the roasted garlic gives it a real nice deep complex flavor. But again there's no acid in this so we're going to add that by stuffing the lemons. at all doesn't matter if this is just for seasoning go ahead and get the parsley parsley stems are a little stiff so Thanks. 
stays in there. I'm like, good. Rinse my hands. I'm gonna sprinkle a little lemon on top of these. Definitely want to get both sides. So there's that. Rest of this goodness back in here. All right. I'm going to get them covered, clean up the mess. And let them sit for an hour, and we'll be back when we throw them on the grill. Let's see if I can't get you a little closer there. All right, well, we're getting ready to put this uh, fish on. And get your fish out, baby. Uh -huh. Get your fish on. Yeah, Almost we've got uh, some nice rain. Finally, 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 we had some. Little Chateau St. Michelle. Woo, baby doll. You know, it may be on the bottom shelf at HEB, but it is not a bottom shelf wine. We lived in uh, North Bend, Snoqualmie, Washington for a while, and Chateau St. Michelle was a really nice. Uh, vineyard and wine and uh, Snoqualmie Winery was also really great. So don't pass it up. All right, let's take a look at these. Look at these baby dolls. Voila. All right. Got a nice hot grill. We've oiled the grates down. And yes, there is a hole in my stairs because there's a big ass leak in our pool. No, I fixed it. Well, you fixed the big ass leak, just not the. Just not the hole yet. Not the. Not I the, gotta get everything done. Yeah. I got a few more things to get the to get the spa back working. Yeah. But. Because uh, we missed the spa. Oh, Dave ain't gonna be working 110 degree weather. Yeah. Not on a swimming pool. I bet be in a swimming pool. Yeah. All right. Let's be careful when you do this. Obviously, it flames up. Nice clean grill grates, nice hot. Got some oil. Um, we might, let's just be real careful here. Um, get them pretty close. You might actually do it with your hands. I'm gonna pick up my point at a time and let's get them over there. Oh, yeah, baby doll. Right there. Looks good. You can always put this on low and maybe do some indirect heat if we need to. I'm just gonna kind of get them where we can get them a good sear and then flip them. All right, say good night, Irene. Good night. Good night, babies. And we'll go set our favorite timer. And um, we're probably going to start it out for about, I don't know, about seven minutes. And we'll keep an eye on it, make sure they don't flare up on us. And then we'll give them a turn, then we'll go to indirect heat. But we want to get that skin nice and crispy. And it's been raining hard here. Thank you, Lord. Um... We've probably gotten, I don't know, we've, I'm looking at the drain over there. 
or the overflow. We've gotten at least an inch to an inch and a half today. So, and the grass is starting to turn green. I'm so excited. But uh, we're going to cook these and we'll bring you back um, as soon as we are ready to make the flip. So it's been about seven minutes and we've got these cooking pretty low because I certainly don't want to catch them on fire. Why don't you lift one of them up and let's see what we're looking at on the bottom. Well, if it's not releasing, we might want to just leave it. Did it release pretty easy? No, no. Okay, well, let's leave it for another couple of minutes because theoretically, they should release when they're ready to flip. So I'm going to set a timer for another couple of minutes and then we'll come back and try, try again. It's been another three minutes. We're going to flip these over. They're starting to get done, you can tell. All right, let's not slide in too much. There you go. Roll him over. There we go. Get him back in the boat. Get him back in the boat. Before we lose him. All right. I suggest that we maybe turn the first two off and go indirect heat, maybe. I don't know. We're, this is all trial and error. We really haven't done many whole fish, so we'll see. All right. So it's been about a total of 24 minutes. These should be nice and done. And we're gonna pull them off and take them in. As long as they're nice and flaky, we are good to go. Got a little stickage over there, but that's all right. We'll burn it off and clean it off. Let's grab that uh, lemon. We'll grill lemon to go on the fish. Crank this back up and burn that off. Let's go in, serve them up. So here's our final plate. Uh, cut a little avocado and some fresh tomato on it. We had some white rice um, seasoned. It was cooked in a little ghee, sauteed with a little bit of seasoning and uh, we added just a little topping of the sauce. It does have that salt in it, so you do want to be careful if you add it on the top, and it does have some heat. So we're going to let Dave do the taste test as usual. He's over there feeding the dogs. Now remember, this is a whole fish. It will have bones. You need to be careful with that. And let us know how it is. Good? That's good. Good to go. This is a keeper. That's a keeper. This is a great adobo sauce for seafood, fish, chicken. We'll have some more recipes using this. So again, watch for those bones or get some fillets. You don't have to do a whole fish. Another winner. Fish dinner. Thanks for joining us, guys.